Hey guys, Mike Dugan, your AutoCAD guru. In the previous video, I showed you guys how to create a dynamic block using stretch, and I used this foundation wall as an example, so we could stretch this thing all we want. We're going to revisit stretch, but this time we're going to use it on the rim joist of the house. So let me make a copy of it and turn it into a block. And I'm going to call it LVL because that is exactly what it is. It's an LVL beam, which is a laminated beam. It's an inch and three quarter wide, and it comes in different widths than regular dimensional lumber does. So let me double click on it and go to parameters just like earlier. Click linear just like earlier for my parameter. And I wanted to mention something right now. Remember this down here, that's going to be my insertion point. This point up here, that's where I'm going to want to grab this thing later when I go to stretch. So, when I specify the two points for my parameter, I want to make sure that this is the second point that I pick. So, this would be the first. That's going to be the second. Now, notice too, every time you create a parameter, you're actually creating two possible points. We don't need this bottom one. We do need this guy. So let me just select the parameter, scoot over here to the properties window, and see under number of grips, I'm going to change that to one. And when I do, the first point that I chose earlier when I assigned the parameter, that's the one that disappears. This one remains. Okay, we have our parameter. Now let's go to action. We're going to go to stretch, just like before. We're going to choose the parameter. This is the point that we want to associate it with. Create our stretch frame. Then use a crossing window to select our geometry. We're done with geometry, so I'm going to hit enter. And we're good to go. Let me close the block editor. Yes, we want to save it. And now, when I select the LVL, I can resize this just like we did before with the foundation wall. So I could theoretically click on this and enter 11.875 for the size and just drag it over into here and just resize it manually like that. But there's a better way because again, these come in standard width. So let me double click on this, get back into block editing mode, and I'm gonna grab the parameter and highlight it. And take a look over here under value set distance type. Right now it says none. Let's change that to list. Notice that increment is another possibility, but we'll try increment later on with other stuff. Right now it's going to be list. And then distance value list becomes available. I'm going to select this little box. That's going to bring up a dialog box. And notice it already has 11 and 7 eighths in. That's because it knows how big I made this already. Now it's waiting for me to give it more sizes. So 14 is one size we're going to want. Seven and a quarter is another, and nine and a half. And notice, it doesn't matter what order I put these things in, it sorts it automatically, smallest to biggest. Okay, that's all good. Now I'm going to click OK. And as I do, you can see these little tick marks appear. Let's see what that's all about. So I'm going to close the block editor. And now, when I select my LVL and go to stretch it, I can only stretch it to those values that I entered earlier. I can try to stretch it all the way up here, but that ain't happening. Only the ones I chose. Now here's what's nice too. I could revisit this thing. Let me double click on it again. Click OK. Choose the parameter. Come back here to my value list. And I can add more values to this list if I want. Or I could select any of these values and choose delete to get rid of them. All right, that's it. That was pretty quick. So, I already know you like the video, so I don't have to ask you to do that. Naturally, you've subscribed. <laughs> so anyway, again, Mike Dugan, your AutoCAD guru, signing off and reminding you that I will put a link in the description of the video in case you want to download the drawing. Thanks, guys.